Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Some of you might have heard about a cabbage soup diet. Well today I want to show you how to make that cabbage soup. And cabbage soup diet it's one of those fast fix diets. Uh, it only lasts seven days and um, allows you to lose up to 10 pounds fast. So if you're watching this video you're probably up for a challenge. So let's make that soup. For a cabbage soup, of course, you're going to need one head of green cabbage. You're going to need two carrots and one parsnip. We're also going to need two green bell peppers, four stalks of celery. We're going to need six green onions, two cups of sliced mushrooms. I'm also going to use some diced tomatoes, and those are canned diced tomatoes. We're gonna need a bunch of herbs, different herbs, like I have dill here, parsley, and cilantro. Five cloves of garlic. I'm gonna use some dry shallots, but you guys can use the fresh ones. Two tablespoons of a soup base. Just a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Couple shakes of cayenne pepper. And I'm also going to use a half a cup of mild salsa and one can of V8. Then get a huge pot, mine is eight and a half quarts. Fill it up with water three quarters of a way and put it on the stove to boil. And then we're going to start dicing our vegetables and I'm going to cube all my vegetables. The cabbage soup uh, diet plan is seven days. And as I'm dicing my vegetables, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about history of this um, cabbage soup diet. This diet was created back in 1950s. Some people say by a model, some people say by a TWA flight attendant. Uh, because people with these professions had a periodic uh, weight check-in, so if they are overweight a couple pounds before the next weight in, they had to go on a fast diet so they can shed off these extra pounds and don't lose their jobs. On the first day of your diet plan, you can eat as much fruit as you'd like, except bananas. And when you still feel hungry and you don't feel like eating fruit anymore, you can stuff yourself with your cabbage soup. On the first day, eat at least four servings of your soup. And drink plenty of water, but no sugary drinks, just water or plain tea. For a second day, you can eat as much vegetables as you can handle. And they can be fresh, they can be steamed. Uh, you can um, eat some leafy green vegetables. Try to avoid some peas and corn. And eat your soup again, four servings a day. And for dinner, you can reward yourself with one baked potato with butter. On day three, you need to combine day one and day two but no baked potato for dinner. So just eat as much fruit as you want and eat as much vegetables as you want and soup, soup again. On day four, you can finally eat bananas and have at least six bananas that day and at least four glasses of skim milk. If you don't like skim milk, you can substitute it for non-fat yogurt and eat your soup. You need to have at least three servings of soup that day. On day five, yes, I didn't think that day would come. You can finally eat some meat. And I'm talking about some lean protein um, like steak, chicken, or fish. And you need to eat at least five fresh tomatoes. And by the way, drizzling ketchup on your meat does not consider to be eating tomatoes. And very important, on that day you must drink at least 6 to 8 glasses of water to eliminate uric acid from your body. And don't forget your soup. Eat your soup. Day 6 is a perfect day for me because you can eat your protein with your vegetables, which is a perfect dinner, right? You can have a juicy steak with some side salad. And I know, guys, you're probably already sick of your soup, but you have to eat at least two servings. And don't forget to drink plenty of water and hang in there, guys. It's only one day left. 
On day 7, you might have a small bowl of brown rice with some vegetables and you can have some unsweetened fruit juice. And don't forget your soup, guys, because we are done with our prep work and we're about finally to make our cabbage soup. To a pot of boiling water, we're gonna add our soup base and I'm using organic vegeta. We also gonna put some dry shallots or fresh ones and a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we're gonna start loading our vegetables, which is gonna be our diced carrots, diced celery, uh, shredded parsnip, and then we're gonna add our diced bell, green bell peppers and some green onions. We're also gonna put some sliced mushrooms, two cans of diced tomatoes, and these are organic diced tomatoes, then we're gonna put our salsa in there, and it's just for a taste and a little bit of spiciness. And I'm gonna um, dump the whole uh, can of V8 in there. We're gonna put our cabbage. We're gonna close the lid slightly and we're gonna simmer the soup for exactly 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we're gonna put our fresh garlic and all our herbs, which is gonna be our cilantro, uh, dill, and parsley. We're also gonna give it a couple shakes of cayenne pepper because I like my soup a little bit spicier. And then you're gonna taste it and your soup is ready. If you want to add a little bit more of freshly ground black pepper, you can add some pepper or you can add any spices you want. And we guys ready to serve our soup. I hope you liked my soup recipe and the introduction to a cabbage soup diet. Remember, this is not a long-term diet. I wish you guys success in all your weight loss plans. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.